look at that, this is all melted also. Pierre Birabrand did his best to save the tasting room at Signorella Vineyards, but the Atlas fire was too explosive to stop. Everybody grabbed a hose and we tried to fight the fire for an hour. But it was too smoky, too strong, too big, and we couldn't breathe. Now there is only rubble and ashes where the main building once stood proudly over the Napa Valley. But despite the extensive destruction here, there is still a glimmer of hope. The vineyard is fine. It didn't burn. So we'll be able to pick a crop next year. The vineyard here is the key to recovery. It's 40 years old and would take years to replace. But fortunately, the flames bypass the fragile fruit of the vine. We're going to rebuild the building and we will be picking grapes next year and we are still in business meanwhile. And in fact, just a small fraction of Napa's wineries, perhaps as few as three or four, burn to the ground. Another 15 or so have partial damage and the rest of the more than 400 wineries here are largely untouched by the fires and back in business. All I can say is keep drinking our wine and help us to survive. And despite all the damage here initially estimated to be in the tens of millions of dollars, there is a sense of resilience here. And that's because of all the wine vineyards you can see behind me, many of them still intact, unburned from the Atlas fire. And as long as that's the case, people here still have hope. In the heart of the Napa Valley, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.